You're watching my favorite YouTube channel. I am Chillmonger. This is the amazing Spider-Man issue one from what I'm told it's cover A. I couldn't tell. There was a bajazillion covers. The paper quality on the cover was pretty good. Paper quality inside was different too from what I'm familiar with Marvel. Maybe I'm telling myself that, but it does feel like it's a good quality paper. I'd be doing a digital review where I'm talking over the photos, except for this page over here where they don't actually give you the digital download code. I thought they were through with this. Maybe this comic book was being printed and published, uh, printed and being created at a time when they were still under the, we're going to make people go and send emails to us just so they can get it digitally. I hope that's the case. It just really took really long for the comics to be made. Let's get to the actual plot of the comic book. And my title of this video is Welcome Back to 616 because Peter Parker over here, he goes through some things. He goes through a lot of things, actually. The biggest thing from the beginning is that he has a time pass. There's this that's happening outside York, Pennsylvania. And I did see this in the preview pages. And it, oops, wrong side. Oops, there it is. What's that device there? And why is he screaming? Is that device from, from the Spider-Man Beyond story? I wasn't checking in on that story because it was like 55 writers and 69 artists swapping from person to person and you know cohesive story could be told from that so i don't recognize the device and where that's from i do recognize this six months later wait a minute six months passing in his in spider-man time is significant because he's part of the marvel universe they better not ignore that six months pass already from jump i i already hate this because Six months have passed. Could the same message be given if it was one month passing? Probably. I got to read the whole story, but I probably wouldn't have said, said that six whole months passed. Uh, Spider-Man could be in trouble or Peter could be in trouble from one month passing with no rent. Uh, the six months thing irks me just like it irked me in House of X when all of a sudden they were planting flowers six months ago on Mars and six months ago there. And I'm like, Matthew Rosenberg's run happened two weeks ago. Don't tell me that all this time passed, but only all this time passed for you over at the X-Men people. It didn't all pass for, you know, Kamala Khan's still a teenager. Miles Morales, well, let's see, he's got his problems. Because his mom had a baby in like nine months of real time. That was BS. And I hated that too. So if anything, I'm being consistent right now. I don't like that time passing in comic books that much where this is all supposed to be happening in a really condensed amount of time specifically 13 years because if you look at what ben grimm said to the hulk in that issue of the hulk maybe immortal hulk 42 it was the one with the thing on the cover he's like yeah i just had my bar mitzvah because you know i've been thing for 13 years now so 13 years slided in the sliding timeline enough of that this comic book though when he's talking to aunt may He's calling her May, just like the movie version. I thought the movie version was being disrespectful because in No Way Home, he kept saying May, May, May. Even when she was dying, it's May. It's never Aunt May. That must be a comic book thing that I never caught up on. So she's like, yo, listen, I know you're telling me a lie. And I'm like, oh, the identity. They're probably talking about what happened during the six months and, and the identity and how he doesn't tell her that he is Spider-Man. And she says, I can see when you're lying. I know the truth from, from, from the lying Peter Parker. All right. The big shift in this comic book and the big shift in this, uh, like, who oh, he's here, Zeb Wells is here. It's all about that secret identity and the reveal to, uh, to, 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 to MJ, to Aunt May. MJ is also the big shift, but you guys saw the cover for issue number two, holy. So Peter's down on his luck and there's a guy trying to collect money from him. He's got to try to avoid here and there. And Peter brings it up to Randy, goes up and Randy, he's like, hey, hey friend, guess what? Expositioned up. I'm going to propose. And also that GOG thing. So we're referencing something from Nick Spencer's run. Great. Continuity. Welcome back to Marvel. Welcome back to how other things affect this book. Zeb Wells, if you can keep doing that, I can keep buying these comic books because that's part of what makes Marvel special and not... I don't read the independence. If Zeb Wells right now, as impressed as I am with his work, said I'm going to make a new comic book on image, I'm not... No. No, I'm into the 616 universe of Marvel Comics. And from the way he mentions, references old things from the Spider-Man comics, even referencing things like the Human Torch, ever referencing things like the Devil's Reign event, um, Digger, if we're going back, 
I don't even know what the hell this guy is, but he's got some sort of gamma stuff. And there's a green door, which is Immortal Hulk referencing. And there's there's a, lot, a bunch of stuff that happened in Marvel that still matters in this comic book in my hands with the fine paper prints. It's significant to me, and it's very meaningful, and, and I cannot overstate it. I've, if you watch every single one of my videos where I'm complaining about something, it's probably got to do with the continuity of things. So I cannot over. I am not overstating it. You actually know just how much I like uh, these things in my comic books. The sub subplot here is Tombstone and this whole. You know, there's a war coming, a war coming, and he's got to tell Peter Parker to tell his friend Spider Man. At this point, shouldn't Spider Man, if you want to really know who he is, just stalk Peter Parker? Has that been done in a comic story? Maybe he has a spider sense, so it'll never work. Ritterin off. Just like that. While he's upstairs, I told you about the Human Torch. Now, the Human Torch says to, to, to Peter, like, yo, you guys stole from us. You stole from the Fantastic Four. What? You, you made a villain? You made an enemy out of the Fantastic Four? Huh. And I like, again, how it says, see Fantastic Four, issue 34, to understand why he can't remove himself from the heat. Yeah, thanks, Niccolo. That's what you're there for. He, he didn't even be creative. He was just like, N-L. Yeah. Niccolo's not here to play around. This was all about watching the art and watching the, and re reading the text that Zeb Wells put in. So here is Randy talking to Tombstone. He's like, yo, no, Randy, you take what you want and... Uh, subplot like i said actually randy getting married is the sub subplot very cool thing here that happens and peter parker just surfs on that car he doesn't need to go swinging there's not that many buildings up here in uptown so i'm just gonna watch all right that's cool peter parker packs his suit like he always does i'm glad he did he had to double back to get it and now he's fighting the freaking digger He's like, well, I recognize that name, Digger. Yeah. <laughs> How many villains does he have that I'm like Gibbon? I was so surprised when that guy came out of nowhere about it two years ago. And like, hey, he's a thing. Same with Gog. First time I've seen him. Spider Man has a rich history of like villains. He actually breaks the villain's fingers. And they discuss about how the last time we fought, you died. He's like, no, no, no. I left you alone. You melted. I'm okay. <laughs> I didn't break my no killing rule, says Peter Parker. Works for me. I don't really have much sympathy for these guys. They don't even know each other's names. Barely know each other's names. Kareem. <laughs> Kareem. Um, he saves Kareem and then he thwips up. What's her name? What is her name? The bunny. Thwips her up in a very comedic way. Like, yo, I'm a thwip, thwip, thwip. I'm a thwip, thwip you. He said thwip hyphen a thwip. That's Peter Parker language. Sp Spider-Man's language. He says, I'm thwip, thwip, thwip. So he thwips. There's a big explosion. Not the only explosion in here. The next time we see Tombstone, he's just at home in a Harlem, New York. That's upper Manhattan, I think. I think. I looked at a map last time. That's where that was. And next thing you know, kaboom, he's dead, it would appear. Me reading this comic book going, oh, I'm, I guess I'm supposed to believe that a top Marvel villain just died and that no writer can use this guy again because the ending of his life has just occurred never believed that for a second and thankfully they didn't want me to believe that it happened uh here he is coming out with a cat also meow exiting the burning building he knows who it was he's he saw he knows about the he didn't see the rose did he no they did not see a rose but that's why he had to go and talk to peter while peter was outside mj's house mj calls I don't want to hear. I don't want to see you again. I don't. I don't want to talk to you again. Specifically, says don't call me again. What the f happened, man? This is when I started to think about the cover for issue number two. Where is it? This cover here. This cover here. I just saw it. It was part of this. The cover for issue number two. Here it is. Me and Mike from Rogue Comics were discussing it and we're like, I hope this isn't what I think it is. It can't be. I'll link that video after this. It was pretty long, but pretty substantial. I'm worried of what they're doing with Mary Jane and Peter because it's a head scratcher and it's also 
No, chill, chill, long, chill, chill out, chill longer. They did this with Hail Hydra, Captain America, and things never came to fruition. And the story explained it. Also, in a, an amount of six months, what they did with her. Let's just fast forward to the ending. What they did with her, and who the fuck is Paul? And who the fuck are these children? What they did here doesn't make sense in six months. You can't just birth somebody. Well, there is accelerated growing. They called her mommy. Oh, that was significant right there, right up top. M-O-M-M-Y. Mommy. That you could age someone up, just like we saw with Kindred and how it was an alternate Gwen Stacy. Bizarre stuff. I still don't want to see it. So, yeah, it's a turnoff, but it's also, come on. Everything returns to the status quo. So I'm angry. Manuf- it's manufactured anger. They're supposed to make me angry. What? MJ left Peter for Paul? Of all the names? Another P name? Okay. So I'm angry. The hell? Uh, in the big words, right up, Nick Lowe was telling us this will all be explained. We'll let you know about the kids and Paul and all that. All right, fine. Final, final page is this, where Dr. Octopus is being held upside down by somebody who speaks in the lower font. Did you catch that? The font over here from, uh, I want to say that's guy from the Ultimate Universe, is in the lower font, unlike other characters who speak in the capital letters all the way through. Any Bendis fans who read Ultimate Spider-Man might know who that is. So that's another reference. If if please, if you know what who he is, get busy. Type it up in the comment section. I am Chillmonger. I'm out before I end. This is the long video I was talking to to you about. Mike from Rogue Comics, like Histor Rogue Comics in Connecticut. Go check him out. Um, we chatted a lot, but we touched on the comic book industry. If that's the sort of thing that you're into. If you're not, every Saturday I stream 33 burning.